Hey guys, sorry about this weird angle, but I don't really have anywhere to set up my phone. I don't got my tripod with me. Anyways, today is November 17th. Last night we went to my twin niece's birthday. They turned two years old. Today is my cousin Baby Roy's wedding. His father is my first cousin. My first cousin's father and my father are brothers. So this is a very special wedding that we're going to. That's what our plans are for today. So you see, the problem today is like we do for every church event, every party, every situation. We're still not ready. The wedding is in T minus 10 hours, something along the lines. I have my suit ready. Lena has her outfit ready. Bobby's not going with us. James and Frankie's not going with us, thank God. Just my daughter, Taylor, needs a pair of shoes because when we came here from Florida, we didn't really bring wedding clothes with us. So join us on our adventure of getting my daughter's shoes for a wedding that we're still shopping for today. And the wedding is in like 10 hours. So one thing that I want to try to do, which is why you guys are seeing the style vlog right now, I want to get back into the daily vlogging, the daily uploads. If that's possible for me to do, I would, I would gladly do it. What has been stopping me has been business. We came to Jersey to work. If you guys seen that video that I enlisted after it got like a little over 100 views, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you guys didn't see that video, unfortunately I removed it. I'll just give you a quick rundown. Left Florida to come to Jersey to work. Work in Jersey is not what we thought it was going to be. So I've been so busy with trying to get things situated here that I haven't had time for this or for really anything else so just been busy 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 after this wedding we're probably gonna be getting out of here very soon florida's our home here's the crossroads that i've come to i could make daily vlogs which are pretty fun to make i get to show you guys our I guess I get to bring you guys along with me for my daily routine, whatever we do on a typical day. The only problem with that is it's a little boring. Not every day something interesting goes on, not every day something interesting happens. And as a YouTube creator or content creator, just putting out a video just to be putting out one is not like a good feeling, especially when you see that the video is not doing good in terms of views. I would love to have like an interesting video to upload every day, but my life is just not that interesting right now. If it was that interesting, I wouldn't be having this conversation. I feel like it's worth a shot for me to try it again, especially if I just do simple everyday style vlogs. Don't go too crazy with the editing or the graphics or anything like that. Like just establish a system where I record my day. And then I also need to try and get a time of how long I want these vlogs to be. I think eight to nine minutes is fine. I think asking people to watch an eight or nine minute video is a big ask if they don't know about the channel. Obviously my subscribers, there's a lot of people that watch my videos like consistently from start to end. Like they'll leave me comments mentioning things that happen at the start of the video all the way up until the end. Pretty much every time I upload, you guys are the hardcore subscribers, the hardcore audience. But for me to grow this YouTube enough to where I can make money with it and then get better and make equipment purchases that are smart this time. <laughs> like obviously having that Sony camera was amazing. I had to sell it. I explained in that video that I removed. If I could buy another camera and keep it this time, <laughs> Things like that to make my vlogging better would be great. But I can't do that unless I'm making money on YouTube. I promised myself I wouldn't buy 
another camera unless my YouTube channel made enough money to pay for that camera. So I hope you guys understand where I'm going with this. This part is getting very long. I have a key, Lena. Amazing how the kids are like crawling under the table. <laughs> oh, give me just Zero butter to give me. Mm. What you doing, Sen? You having some breakfast? Mm. Oh, you are, why are you crying? No, you're a hungry baby. Now, right now I gotta go do a few things to get prepared myself for the wedding until they're ready, doing their chores or whatever, and then we're gonna take them shopping to get shoes. So I just opened my sunroof. I'm seeing a bunch of spider webs. It's not a good sign. Ah, f it. <laughs> I don't care what any of you say, that's gotta be one of the prettiest vehicles on the road right now. 2021, 2022, 2023 body style cars out right now. She's gotta be up there in the top five. see that every day. Pretty clean. Pretty nice. Now we're ready to party. I can't believe they have this here. That is crazy. Thank you. You know what's weird about them having that soda in the dollar store? The first place where I originally got this soda in Lakeland at Rocket Fizz, I think the soda was like $3 and something cents by itself. Just one. So to have it at the dollar store is freaking wild. <laughs> That was a pretty good life hack for now. Obviously, I'm gonna take a shower later and get cleaned up and everything, but just not to have like a whole bunch of hair on me. Pretty good life hack. So now we gotta worry about my daughter getting shoes. Your beard looks nice.
Looks like. very beardy. Could I use the lint roller? Oi! Can't go store. I mean, Jim is chilling out in the car. He's sleeping. So, I'm gonna relax a little bit, rest. Let Lena and Taylor get themselves shoes. Probably gonna edit a video or something while I got some time in the car. Chill out. James, he slept for about a good hour and a half, maybe even two hours just now. Lena's phone is dead, and he's up. I know he's probably hungry now, so I'm gonna go look for them in the mall, see if I can find them. I just don't get why do we give seven, eight hundred dollars on cell phones if we don't charge them, if we don't answer them. Because even when it's charged, you still don't really answer them. It's a waste of money. I just saw them, so hopefully we don't lose them. Are you okay, son? So we had to come home because Frankie, I don't know if he's a little bit normal. Frankie is being a bad beat, and my mother don't want to watch him anymore because we left her with him for like three hours, and then she's got to watch the kids later tonight while we go to the wedding. We came to pick up Frankie. Unfortunately, all that time that I waited in the car for them to get shoes for Taylor, they couldn't find shoes. The shoes they did find were like $150, and we don't want to give $150 for one party, and he's never going to wear that shoe again. That's like pretty big waste of money. I'd rather give $150 extra to the doll. So yeah, we're back at home to pick up the other baby and now we're gonna go with two babies shopping for a shoe. Why does Taylor have to go to this wedding? Why can't she stay home? Bobby's not going. Like, what's the panic? Ah. Ah. What is that? I push you, you sneezed on my steering wheel! Ew! Look who I got now. <laughs> so one more time, I'm at a store in the parking lot, but now I got both children. But now I got both children with me. Because my mother had to go get food or something for my father. Frankie! Frankie, 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 baby! <laughs> and James. this looks because I'm having the back camera face me because the front camera is horrible at night we got home about 40 minutes ago we left the whole day let me give you guys a rundown real quickly what happened Lena said let's go to a certain store they'll probably have a shoe for you there we'll buy the shoe and that's it over Taylor said, no, I don't like that store. The shoes they have is ugly. So we went to four stores, well, three stores and a big mall. They walked the whole mall. I stood in the car for about three and a half, four hours. I feel like I drove from Miami to Orlando. That's how long I stood in the car. Couldn't find a shoe anywhere. So we have to go back home, pick up Frankie, as he was being cranky or whatever go from there back to the store that Lena said let's go to from the beginning 
and they had a shoe in there and she bought the shoe. So this is what I talk about uh, when I say it's like very hard doing stuff with my family because my family don't make things easy and normal and fun. Everything's gotta be a kino with them. I don't know why. Taylor was too sharp earlier. <laughs> She was too buddy bucci to go to that corny store to get a shoe. But now she's got the shoe and she's going to wear it. So I got mad and I said, Donnie, you got to go to the wedding with us. Bobby's staying home. No reason for you to go to the wedding with us. We have to suffer get a new dress and then shoes all day. Every day we've been going shopping for this wedding for the past week. Maybe eight days. Maybe even nine days. Every single day just getting up going to shopping buying something we didn't accomplish it all until today the day of the wedding right now it's 502 we got three hours before the wedding starts i guess you could say four if we're walking in at like 9 9 30 but very bad Had to come to the bank to get money out to give Dago because I don't carry cash on me for the longest time. Cash is like non existent in my life anymore. It feels like inappropriate to give a $50 bill for Dago. Hello. I a quick question. Um, I didn't know the ATM doesn't give out $100 bills. Would I be able to get hundreds for this? How much is that? $200. Thank you. Okay. Got the dago. I was originally planning on giving way more than that. Uh, I was supposed to give like 500. But when money's low, money's low. <laughs> when you're in a bad situation, you kind of can't go crazy with the money. So, 200. I'm lying, my family, I'm only giving 100. Uh, pretend I'm only giving 100, but when I get to the hall, I'm gonna give two. Would have loved to give five because it's my cousin's son. But what are you going to do? He's lucky I'm even coming to the wedding and giving that hope. I could have pulled like a, a nuisance move and go have a cigarette outside when uh, the Daho table comes. Once again, going to another store. If anybody wants to get mad at me, feel free, go ahead. But I have to express my opinion. This is too many seltzers. First of all, I don't know why she gave me this bag. This is like the bag that you put vegetables in or something. <laughs> Second of all, that took way too long for two items. Like 35 minutes I had to stay in the store just now. Look at all this trouble I gotta go to in one day just to go to a wedding. And it's not like we go to weddings every five seconds where, what are you gonna do? It's not our fault the weddings happen every night. We gotta do that and we, life happens, no. Weddings, we go to weddings once every while. I guess the best way for me to put it right now, I can't think, can't even think of the last wedding I went to. It's just, everything's gotta be a kino. And it's very nerve wracking, or as I like to say, nervousing, even though it's not a word. What's the chance that James drops his TV off the couch? Taylor, 
What time is it? 8.35. Part of vlog. Mm -hmm. Supposed to leave. Taking three years. Time is now 8.35. We still did not leave yet, of course. Uh, I try not even to pay attention to my life anymore. I think tomorrow I'm gonna get up in the morning, uh, fill the house up with food, and then just leave the whole day, shut my phone off. Because that's the nervous breakdown I went through all day. <laughs> what? Hmm? What? Hmm? Your outfit looks nice. Thank you. So, that's my whole day of nervous breakdowns and very fun times going to this party. Really happy. Click here to actually watch the wedding now. <laughs> Go ahead, click. This video is over, you can click this video now. Go ahead, click the video.